The 2016 report covers a broad assortment of topics relating to the state of children and youth in the province, ranging from an increased number of children in foster care to kids not regularly attending school. It's also Corio Soup's first annual report as advocate for children and youth. He's the first advocate of Aboriginal heritage as well, and he's made one of his priorities to reduce the number of First Nations and Métis youth in care in the province. Of course, in a year where six young girls from the north died from suicide in a four-week span, mental health was a top focus in the report. Osoup calls the current level of access to mental health services insufficient. He says when kids need help, especially those in remote northern communities, it often isn't there in time. Well, he says adding more psychiatrists and counselors would help. Osoup says it's not enough on its own and calls it a band-aid solution. That all relates back to one of Osoup's recommendations in the report, to have mental health supports working directly in schools so kids have immediate access. The government didn't respond as to whether that was a tenable option, but Osoup says it's simply a matter of redirecting resources. The NDP opposition, meanwhile, was in favour of the idea. Also in the report, plenty of other recommendations for the province, including to get moving on some critical changes to the Child and Family Services Act. The report also highlights there were fewer deaths to young people receiving government services last year, 21 compared to 26 the year prior. But there were more critical injuries, a quarter of them related to suicide, relating back to the need for better mental health services. Like the reports of his predecessors, though, Osoup's recommendations are so far just that. It's now up to the government to put any of them into action. The government says it's taking a look and working to put some of those previous recommendations in place. Mickey Cowan, CBC News, Regina.